Ciao, I'm Chiara from Perfilessegno and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet the herringbone stitch. I really love this stitch because it's easy to do and gives a, a stunning result for any project. It's widely used for blanket, bags or any sweaters. First start with a basic chain however long you'd like. So here for this sample I've chained 20. Now we do the first herringbone stitch double crochet. This stitch is easy as double crochet. You are just pulling through the loops differently. So first a yarn over, then insert your hook into the third chain. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll be left with three loops on your hook, then take this last loop and pull it through the second loop. Now we have two loops on the hook, so yarn over, then pull through one loop. So now we have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through these last two loops. And of course, repeat this in each chain. So, first yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, grab the yarn. We have three loops on your hook. So, take this last loop and pull it through the second loop. Now we have two loops on the hook, so yarn over and pull through one loop. Then yarn over and pull through these last loops. And continue to do this in each chain down the row. So now to begin row two, first chain two, and this count as your first double crochet, then turn the work. So this is the first double crochet. So now we are going to do the first herringbone double crochet stitch into the second stitch, as we did before. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, uh, grab the yarn, uh, we have three loops, uh, so now take uh, this last loop and pull it uh, through the second loop. And now yarn over and pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through two. And continue to do this uh, in each stitch down the row.
Pay attention at the end because uh, this is the stitch and uh, this is another stitch, the last stitch. The last stitch is uh, the chain. So remember to work uh, this chain too. And now we're ready to repeat again this last row. So first, remember, first chain two, this count as your first double crochet, then turn the work. So this is the first stitch here, like this. So we are going to do the herringbone stitch in the second stitch here. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn, then pull this last loop into the second loop, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. And continue to do this in each stitch down row, the row. Pay attention here because we work into this last stitch and we work into the second chain. Okay, now I will continue to do a few more rows, so I will show you the texture of the stitch. Okay, now I've done some rows uh, and as you can see the herringbone stitch gives a great dense texture uh, suitable for a range of projects. I want to show you other samples with cotton yarn uh, that I work with a smaller hook. Uh, I work at this with the four millimeters hook. Uh, and this one with five millimeters hook. We have already worked this beautiful stitch in the project Pom Pom Hat Abraccio. I will leave the link into the info box below. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get notifications. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao and tanto love.